Hello, everybody. My name is Nicholas Blau. I'm Jose Ramirez. We're with, the, we're with CJNP, designing a dead man anchor system replacement for Foth. This is our team. For our problem statement, Foth has installed a dead man anchor. The client discovered that the installed anchor began to fail. Foth has tasked our team with designing a new anchor system, and the team will be designing a pressure grouted anchor ground anchor system as a replacement. Some project information. The site is near a river in Memphis, Tennessee. There's a ravine going through the site. The tanks on site hold petroleum and the client would like to remain anonymous. These are the wall damages that were sent to us. We have a deflection from the retained soil by the wall and a damaged tie rod on the two lower pictures. So some of the software that we use was ProSheet, and it takes such items as soil depth, the type, and the unit weight. And with those items, we can get our moment, shear, and stress diagrams, as well as deflection. And for that software, it uses the Bloom method. For our specifications, as shown in the image to the right, we use the Federal Highway Administration Manual for ground anchors, and we are using the AASC Steel Manual to design the wall whale. Our pressure ground anchor system will include the wedge of failure anchor angle, the spacing, the length, the bradded length, and the wall whale. Here's our most critical design with uh, exposed wall height of 15 to 18 feet. Our unbottom length will be 15 feet and our bottom length will be 38 feet, totaling to a total length of 53 feet. Our wall whale uses the moment from the previous image to calculate the actual channels that will distribute the moment uh, horizontally across the entire sheet pile wall. On this image, we use two C15 channels that will be held by a bearing plate. Thank you.